YouTube, we're back with episode two. Let's pick up where we left off. Continue from the last save. Yes, we are. Oh my goodness, that's terrifying. That that was like a saber bear. Gotta be a sword or two. Yes. All right, let's search. Imperial light helmet. Sounds great. And gold value one. All right. Gotta be a sword somewhere. Really? Oh, I checked the bed. <laughs> There's nothing in the bed. In case you were wondering. All right. Uh, oh, well, I guess this one's the main one we're supposed to look for. The warden's chest. Ah, yes, an iron sword. Oh, an iron sword. My preferred method. Okay, do I just, like, enable it here somehow? Uh, I think the helmet before we execute the dragon appears, attack town, and find some way to escape. Okay, cool. So, system... Okay. Yep. 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 So, how do I swing it? Is it already added on? Hello, YouTube. Only alerts allowed are baby iron cam. <laughs> yes. It would have been the perfect time for a dad joke. Nah. But do I have everything? Oh, nope. <laughs> I do not. So, how do I add stuff? Toggle active. Quest combat. Uh, oh, look at me. Perfect pacifist. Crime. <laughs> I'm just gonna sleep on it. Ah, uh, yes. I'm just gonna sleep on the dad joke. Ha ha ha. How do I equip stuff? Do I equip? Do I equip stuff? Or do I just do I just roll with it? Oh. Uh, so I'm a boss here. Cool. So why is jump? Okay. It's a very floaty jump. Can I smack this stuff? I could take the basket, the bucket, the bucket basket, bucket basket. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, moving on. Don't worry, I got my fists. They come out of breath. Maybe we can reason with them. Okay, sure. Why is Y jump? That's just what it defaulted to. I don't know. I guess A is for talking. Oh, we gotta attack. Oh, I gotta change my sensitivity here. Can we, can we beat you up? <laughs> I think I need to use my sword, but I'm just letting him take all the damage. He's my, he's my beat shield. <laughs> Oh yeah, we're so good to search. Oh, a battle axe? Oh my goodness. Oh jeez, you make him naked. Oh no, are we gonna make her naked? In this position? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I'm such a horrible human being. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, let's just look over this way. Oh good. No, I... Uh. Search. Yeah, let's just make him naked too. Why not? That's fine. Tankard, yes, we'll take that, because why not? This just oh, it slows you down? Oh, how heavy can I make myself? I can't take that. What if I want to take this? What if I want to carry this? Oh my gosh. So not for kids. Uh that was not block, thank you. Oh, I thought that was something moving out here. But how do I uh equip a, a weapon? I mean, I'll, I'll just keep slapping them, that's fine, but like, can I not like, equip something here? Oh, you can make a third person! Oh, that's dope! No, I'm, I'm working on my moves, this is a perfect boxing ring. Don't you see how we wrecked those, those noobs over there? Alright, we'll stick with first person though. Let's change settings for gameplay. Look sensitivity, yeah, let's, create, let's we'll move that way up. Uh... See how this feels. Oh, there we go. Now we're good there. <clears throat> Cause it's not PG anymore. Oh, fine. I don't have a sword yet. A dragon in a thousand years. Oh, in a thousand years, really? Oh, I thought that was a regular thing in this game. Seeing as the emblem is dragons, but you know, that's just me being a noob. <laughs> Plants. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. See? If we had hurried when you told me to, we would have been right underneath there. Oh, we got more people to beat up. Let's go. Let me slap you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, what happened to you being my meat shield? What happened to you being my meat shield? Oh, gosh. Oh gosh. I'm trying to punch his sword. 
Okay. I'm gonna let him do it. You you go for it, dude. Have fun with it. Oh, oh. <laughs> Captain America slapping him. <laughs> At least they have loincloths on underneath. Where's the other guy you beat up? Here he is. Perfect. Uh, Alright, so potions we're supposed to look for. That looks like a potion. A salt pile. Sounds great. Uh, tankard, tankard, tankard. Potion of minor healing wine. Oh, for sure. We gotta get our drink on. You have a health bar? Yep, yep. It slowly seems to heal back up as I grab things. I'm assuming I'm using them. Or I guess it naturally heals. You see that in the bottom there? It naturally regenerates. That's nice. That is very, very nice. But how do I equip weapons? How do I do it? Please comment below if I can do weapons. Like, how do I pull up? I cannot wait in this location. What the heck does wait mean? Okay, so I can put my fists in and out. <laughs> but how do I do a weapon? Oh, thank goodness. Oh, it's the B button. Thank goodness. Okay, what are we using, guys? What are we using? Great sword, a battle axe, a war axe, a war hammer. What do you think? Take your pick, guys. Hammer? Oh, I like you. The war hammer. Let's go. Alright. Press X to ready your weapon. Okay, so I can put it away and pull it out. I'm assuming it slows me down. Search the barrel. Sure. Oh, I'm taking all of it. What about this barrel? No. Barrel? Barrel? Basket? No. No. Just the one? Really? Okay. Well, what's up here? Secrets? 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 No. Secrets? Secret? Oh. Search the large sack. A cabbage? My cabbages! The guy from Avatar. You all know who I'm talking about. No, I want the, the rock warbler egg. Yes. Thank you. What else? Potion of minor healing. Salt pile. I mean, let's take stuff in case I can use them. I don't I don't know if I can. No, I'm not done. I'm still exploring. Don't rush me. We're going to get smushed by rocks if we rush. Don't you guys learn? Did you learn? Uh, look. Case in point, over here, if you look closely, this. This is what happens when you rush. Matter of fact, we're going to close the door, you savage. Freaking close the doors. Hammer because you got two. That's, that's fair. Yeah, they got two to work. You close the door. You open the door. You close the door. Okay, hang on. Do I have other weapons? So it's B. If you guys ever want to know, it's B. Apparel. Oh, yes. Foot wraps. Why do they have to put it, like, in a model position? You guys see how they have them stacked there? All right, Imperial light armor, light boots, light helmet. We can't put on a helmet because it's going to cover our hair. Or we have a bunch of those. Let's do that. Boots. Fur gauntlets. I'm assuming that's for more armor. Yeah, let's do that. Or how do we look? Alright, I'm down with that. Ugh. If you if we're rushing, you're going first. Where'd you come from? Oh goodness. Oh, so we're beating these people up now. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh talk to a torture? Oh. <laughs> Did you hear everything upstairs? Please don't make up nonsense. <laughs> don't make up nonsense. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, everybody. I wasn't even thinking. Ooh. So we're gonna get another friend? Awesome. Well, okay. You can stay down here. Wait a second. Looks like there's something in this cage. Well hang on, I gotta I gotta search stuff. Nope, I gotta search stuff. A lock pick, potion of minor healing. Book of Dragonborn. Let's read it. They're, they're, they're over there talking. Let's read it. Thanks for banning Mr. Mad. Wait, what? Oh, the ban hammer. Ah. <laughs> it's just, it does look like Palpatine. <laughs> Alright, Book of the Dragonborn. Oh my gosh, is this actually like a long book? We could dedicate an episode to this later. 15 minutes? Yeah. We could dedicate an episode to that later. Oh, wait. Oh, no. I can't pick it up. Oh. 
Okay, we'll tell you what, we got five minutes left in this episode. Let's work on reading this, shall we? Speed reading, ready? <clears throat> <clears throat> hydrate real quick. Hang on, quick hydrate. Okay. The Book of the Dragonborn by Prior Emmeline Madrine. Uh, Order of Talos, Wainon Priori. Year 360 of the Third Era, 21st of the Reign of His Majesty Pelagius IV. All right. Many people have heard the term Dragonborn. We are, of course, ruled by the Dragonborn Emperors, but the true meaning of the term is not commonly understood. For those of us in the Order of Talos, this is a subject near and dear to our hearts. And in this book, I will attempt to illuminate the history and significance of those known as Dragonborn down through the ages. Most scholars agree that the term was first used in connection with the covenant of Akatosh when the blessed Saint Alessia was given the amulet of kings and the dragon fires in the temple of the one were first lit. Uh, Akatosh, looking with pity upon the plight of, of men, drew precious blood from his own heart and blessed Saint Alessia with this blood of dragons and made a covenant that is so long as Alessia's generations were true, as the, uh, true to the dragon blood and Akatosh would endeavor to seal tight the gates of oblivion and to deny the armies of Daedra and undead to their enemies, uh, the Daedra loving Aelios. A a wait, Aelides? Aelides? Oh, this is hard. Those blessed by Akatosh with the dragon blood became known more simply as Dragonborn. Thank you. Uh, the connection with the rulers of the empire was thus there from the beginning. Only those of the dragon blood were able to wear the amulet of kings. It is kings, right? Okay, kings, and light the dragon fires. All the legitimate rulers of the empire have been dragonborn. The emperors and empresses of the first Cyrodiilic Empire, founded by Alessia, remain a uh, Remen, Remen, Cyrodiil and his heirs, and of course Tiber Septim, of course Tiber Septim, uh, Tiber Septim, <laughs> and his heirs, down to our current emperor, His Majesty Pelagius Septim the Fourth. Because of this connection with the emperors, however, the other significance of the Dragonborn has been obscured and largely forgotten by all but scholars and those of us dedicated to the service of the blessed Talos, who was Tiber Septim. Ooh. Very few realize that being Dragonborn is not a simple matter of heredity. Uh, being the blessing of Akatosh himself, it is beyond our understanding exactly how and why it is bestowed. Those who become emperor and light the dragon fires are surely dragonborn. The proof is in the wearing of the amulet and the lighting of the fires. But were they dragonborn and thus able to do these things, or was the doing the sign of the blessing of Akatosh descending upon them? All that we can say is that it is both and neither, a divine mystery. <sighs> The line of septums have all been dragonborn, of course, which is uh, one reason the simplistic notion of it being hereditary has become so commonplace. But we know for certain that the early Cyrodiilic rulers were not all related. There is also no evidence that Remen Cyrodiil was descended from Alessia, although there are many legends that would make it so, most of them dating from the time of Remen and likely, to, likely attempts to legitimize his rule. We know that the Blades, usually thought of as the Emperor's bodyguards, originated in Akaviri Crusaders who invaded Tamriel for obscure reasons in the late First Era. So this is Third Era. They appear to have been searching for a dragonborn. The events of a pale pass bear this out, and the Akaviri were the first to proclaim that Remen Cyrodiil as dragonborn. Uh, in fact, it was the Akaviri who did the most to promote his standing as emperor, although Remen himself never took that title in his lifetime. And of course, there is no known hereditary connection between Tiber Septim and any of the previous dragonborn rulers of Tamriel. Whether there can be more than one dragonborn at any time is another mystery. Oh. The emperors have done their best to dismiss this notion, but of course the imperial succession, succession itself means that at the very least there are two or more potential dragonborn at any time, the current ruler and his or her heirs. The history of the blades also hints at this, although little is known of their activities during the interregnum between Remen, Remen's empire and the rise of Tiber Septim, many believe that the blades continued to search out and guard those who they believed were or might be dragonborn during this time. Lastly, we come to the question of the true meaning of being dragonborn. The connection with dragons is so obvious that it's almost been forgotten. In these days, when dragons are a distant memory, we forget that the early days being dragonborn meant having the dragon blood. 
Some scholars believe that was meant quite literally, although the exact significance is not known. The Nords tell tales of dragonborns, he dragonborn heroes who were great dragon slayers, able to steal the power of the dragons they killed. Ooh. Indeed, it is well known that the Akaviri sought out and killed many dragons during their invasion, and there is some evidence that this continued after they became Remen Cyrodiil's dragon guard. Again, the connection to dragons, the direct predecessor to the blades of today. I leave you with what is known as the prophecy of the dragonborn. It is often said to originate in an Elder Scroll, although it is sometimes also attributed to the ancient Akaviri. Many have attempted to decipher it, and many have also believed that it that its omens had been fulfilled and, the, and that the advent of the last dragonborn was at hand. I make no claims as an interpreter of prophecy, but it does suggest that the true significance of Akatosh's gift to mortal kindness has, has yet to be fully understood. When misrule takes its place at the, at the eight corners of the world, when the brass tower walks and time is reshaped, when the thrice blessed fail and the red tower trembles, when the dragonborn ruler loses his throne and the white tower falls, when the snow tower lies sundered, kingless, and bleeding, the world eater wakes and the wheel turns upon the last dragonborn. Oh, well, that was epic. And now I can take the book. Take all my things. <laughs> <laughs> all right we're a little over 15 minutes so we're gonna end this episode here episode three coming up next peace <laughs>